So the wavelength of green light in the visible spectrum of excited hydrogen atoms is 486.1 nanometers. What is the energy of each photon? Okay? So let's do that. So it said it was 486.1 nanometers. So that was the wave, right? So how do we do this? We have to use Planck's equation to do this. So remember Planck's equation? E equals N H nu, okay? So first it said one photon, and then it says, okay, well what's the um, energy of a mole of photons, okay? So we're gonna do two problems here. So the first one, since it says one photon, n is going to equal what? One, right? One. The second one, it said a mole of photons, so n is going to equal what? 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. Okay, so let's just write that down. Okay. So, wavelength. Is wavelength in this equation? No, so we've got to use the speed of light equation, okay, to convert this equation to a, a equation that we can use. So that equation has wavelength there, right? So if this equation has frequency in it, so what we're going to do is substitute frequency for it here, okay? So if that's the case, we're going to have to solve for frequency. Frequency equals C over lambda, like that, and then plug it into this equation here. Like that. Now we should have everything we need, right? The first n was 1. So, uh, let's convert this to meters first. Let's, that's in meters, right? Okay. We could convert it at the end too, but let's just convert it now. You guys remember how many nanometers there are in a meter? Uh-huh. Wait, what'd you say? So nine. Okay. Nine. nine. Micrometer systems. So um, one times ten to the ninth nanometer. So I'm not impressed with nobody being able to answer that. Okay? So this one meter. Okay, so Seconds cancels there, and we've got joules, okay? So joules, good energy um, units. So just calculate it all out, so. Four zero eight six. 
7 times 10 to the negative 19 joules per, what was it, photon? Is everybody okay with doing that one? Okay, so that would be for one photon, but for a mole of photons, right, I'm going to erase everything except for, because we're running short on time. I'm just going to redo this problem, instead of n being 1, it's n is 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd per mole. So. So this no longer applies, right? So this one you would expect to be much bigger because it's a mole of photons as opposed to one photon. So you just take that and multiply it by and to four sig figs I get two point four six one times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, um, joules, well, of these green photons. So that's how much energy a mole gets. Are there any questions on this one? Okay, so sorry I went through that one a little bit, but you got it recorded now.